I'm going to show you today how to use the thermal evaporation tank to make both brine and lithium. So, it's not as complicated as it looks, as are most things. When we go into our thermal evap plant, you can see we're pumping in water and it's using heat to make brine. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to start off by laying out a 4x4 four four block of thermal evaporation blocks. Assuming you're in the standard, it's made with steel and copper to make four. You're also going to need, need one thermal evaporation controller. And a couple, I'm using three thermal evaporation valves. There is also a basic and advanced version. I'm going to show you both. So again, you put four by four thermal evaporation blocks, and then you just build it up. And it can go to, I think, 17 height. You leave the corners off at the top, and you leave the top off as well. You can see here it has actually got the water or brine in it. I'm giving it sky access, and it is actually going to be biome dependent on how hot it will get. So this biome was not the best choice. Let's say then you do have your base in a cold biome. How do you get around that? Well, there is a way, and that is with the resistive heater. Don't make the same mistake that a lot of people do and do a heat generator. That won't work. You need a resistive heater. You can see in here it's using power to make heat. So we're going in with our ultimate universal cable into our resistive heater. And I can literally put in here um, far 50 and press the tick and it's going to make it 50, temp 50 Fahrenheit. I can put 500 and it will try and get it to 500 Fahrenheit. It's probably no shock to you that the hotter you get your firm leave at the plant, the more brine or lithium it will make. So what we're doing again is we're getting our ultimate universal cable into a resistive heater. <coughs> Sorry. And then we're pumping out with a thermodynamic conductor the heat. And we're putting it into an evaporation valve. So you pump the heat into the valve. You're going to need another valve, which I've got here. So two valves. Another one for the water. If you want to use um, just mechanism, then I'm using an electric pump, which you can see here. I have got a video on how to use the pump on my channel as well. So we're pumping in water, we're pumping in the heat, and that is basically heating up the water and making it into brine. And that will happen passively. You do not need to use the resistive heater. You can just use the ambient temperature if you wish, but I do recommend using a resistive heater because it will get hotter a lot quicker. So again, it's a four by four of thermal evap blocks, two valves here, one for heat and one for water. A controller will actually, you know, be the interface here. And then what I do is I put another valve on the other side, you can put it wherever you want, of course, to output the brine on top, leave the corners off. And what we can actually do is also power this up a bit as an advanced version. How we're going to do that is with advanced solar generators. And we're simply going to put one here, here, here. This is a bit small for this. And here. But I've done it. And that is actually going to maximize the efficiency as well of your um, thermal evaporation plant. So you can pump heat in here. You can add these solar panels on the top, which again are advanced solar generators. You can see here, it's getting hotter and hotter as we speak, generating more and more brine. If you want to make lithium, you do the exact same thing, apart from you're going to pump in brine rather than water, and that will make lithium for you. I can go into JEI and type in lithium, and you can see here in a thermal evaporation controller, brine makes liquid lithium. And that is how you make brine and lithium using the thermal evaporation um, blocks. If that was useful for you, do check out the playlist that you now have on screen, as I have done lots of other mod tutorials for Minecraft, and I plan on doing a lot more also. And I also cover other games as well.